The early years in Mysore are really special. Um, and it's, it's still special, I'm sure, to everyone that's going there. But um, my first trip was 1977. Patabi Joyce had three students there. It was me and two other people. Patabi Joyce was 60 years old. At 60 years old, Patabi Joyce was just like a lion. He was like, wow, he had so much energy. And prior to that, the local students in Mysore weren't that fired up about the yoga. They weren't as enthusiastic about it. But when these foreigners started coming, we were like Labrador dogs that we were just like, yeah, you know, you had that tennis ball and you keep throwing it and they just keep bringing it back. It was like that with asanas, but Tabi Joyce just kept giving us more and more. It was five or six or seven postures a day. It was just practice all day. And then we had an hour of pranayama where we had to sit and do pranayama with, uh, with him. He taught us nauli, he taught us neti. We would stand over a sink with our mouth like that. He would shove that string up our nose and out our mouth and reach in there and just pull it in and out. We'd go, ah, we would let the man do anything to us. It was like, it was called the Ashtanga Yoga Research Institute, right? So he was really using us as the, you know, the white mice <laughs> trying, you know, and, and it was intense, but there was an excitement and a simplicity. We were excited, he was excited, and you got a lot of attention, a lot of time. I've got to say, many people have been to Mysore more times than me and spent more time there. I think in the early days, the, the condensed nature of how much energy we got from him was, was pretty amazing. Um, and we were lucky in that regard. And yeah, now instead of three or four or five people in Mysore, there might be 300 or 400 people. But that just means there's that many more people getting to, to benefit from it. Yeah, and the people that are going there are experiencing juice. They're experiencing excitement and joy. And I talk to people all the time, and many of them have never met Patabi Joyce, but they go to Mysore and they experience excitement and energy and joy, so it carries on. So in the early days, it was, was as you said, simple. And we didn't even have yoga mats. There was no such thing as a yoga mat. We practice on beach towels, bed sheets, things like that, or a piece of carpet. We would get carpet remnants and cut out a piece of carpet. In Mysore, you could go to the prison and get a little cotton mat. They made, the prisoners made mats. You could get a cotton mat if you were there, but there were no sticky mats or anything like that. Um, so there was a simplicity in it, and certainly things have changed. As you mentioned, there was a word of the commodification of it. Um, the commercialization of yoga. I really don't have a problem with that. It just means more people are interested in it. So that's a good thing. The yoga is still existing beneath all that other stuff. If somebody's excited to practice because they got a new mat or whatever, that's all okay, or the latest yoga clothes. None of that will actually help you with your yoga. But if it would get you on the mat to do yoga, it's a good thing. So it's okay. And I'm happy that yoga teachers can make a living teaching yoga and it's all okay. People come to yoga now for all different reasons. It used to be people looking for the meaning of life. Now it might be because you heard of celebrities doing yoga or whatever. It doesn't matter. People come to this just to become fit. And that's perfectly fine because what happens is the yoga starts doing its work, its work anyway. You find yourself reading labels on food and your life starts to change and things that used to be really fun are not as fun anymore. Your friends say, come on, man, let's go party. And we say, do you think it'll be smoky there? I have a yoga class in the morning. We start making all of our choices around the yoga. Even, and so it's okay that it's commercial because commercial also just means bigger exposure. So the more that yoga is exposed to the world, I'm all for it. It's okay. Mm -hmm.